A heartbreak across the nation after a gunman storms a Texas elementary school, killing 19 children and two adults before being shot dead. This morning, many parents are still waiting for news of their children. Our live team coverage begins with CBS 4's Danya Bacchus. She is live at the scene in Uvalde, Texas with the latest. The investigation continues here at Robb Elementary School. Uvalde is a small, tight-knit community with roughly about 15,000 people live in this town, and it seems like everyone knows someone who was connected to or impacted by this tragedy. Hearst has arrived at Robb Elementary School Tuesday evening to take the bodies away. We spoke to Jesse Rodriguez. He waited hours to find out if his 10 year old daughter Annabelle was alive. Tragically, she was one of the victims. Some parents gave DNA samples to help investigators identify the bodies. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News the 18 year old shooter drove up to the school with a handgun, an AR-15 assault weapon and high capacity magazines. And as soon as he made entry into the school, he started shooting children, teachers, whoever was in his way, he was shooting everybody. And at this point, the investigation is leading uh, to tell us that the, the suspect uh, did act alone uh, during this heinous crime. The gunman was shot and killed by a responding officer. This shooting happened just two days before the kids were getting ready to start their summer break. In Uvalde, Danya Backus for CBS4 This Morning.